There are so many different labels and diagnoses for trauma. Let's take a moment and piece them apart. Immediately following a acute traumatic experience, we might experience what's called acute stress disorder. This is an acute onset of symptoms where we're experiencing the symptoms of PTSD, but they just happen to be happening within the first month of the traumatic experience. And we're going to use an analogy in this video of walking on a beach. This would be akin to you walk on a beach and you cut your foot pretty bad and it takes about a month for that wound to heal. But after that month, that wound moves on and has no problems. What happens if that wound gets infected and stays infected and for months later, you continue to experience difficulties? Well, now you have PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, and that experience can get in your way and have systemic changes throughout your mind and your body. But what happens if you live on a really, really rocky beach and there's ongoing tsunamis and it's always cloudy and scary. And by the way, you don't even know how to swim. And so every time a wave comes up, your brain and your body's in shock. Well, that's similar to complex trauma. You're in an ongoing experience of being exposed to stimuli in your world that are very dangerous, whether they be different versions of physical or sexual harm or emotional and verbal abuse. You're constantly living in the fear of a huge wave coming to sweep you off and perhaps even might start to think, wow, that would just be better. The fact that our brain learned that becomes a data point that the mind, body, and use going forward. That can create a compounding effect of peritrauma, which means we've had a traumatic experience and then we have another one and we have another one, but we don't necessarily develop PTSD from those experiences. We don't necessarily have acute stress disorder from those experiences. We don't necessarily have complex trauma from those experiences, but our brain is in learning and encoding data about this world and this beach. This is such an important separation point to really understand what's happening in your mind and your body and how to find the best healing tools and modalities to help you navigate forward to create your thriving world because our brains are capable of healing.